I'm Chloe. Today we're going to talk about something very serious. Swatting. What is swatting, you ask? It is a trolling tactic used on live streamers where a fake violent crime is reported and the police send out a SWAT team in response. Swatting can be a traumatic experience for the victims and their families. It is also dangerous. The police don't know the crime is fake, and with our police force being more and more militarized, there is little room for empathy. That nobody has been killed because of a swatting is a miracle, but with our police being more and more militarized, it is only a matter of time. There is hope. Recently in the news, a swatter was arrested in Germany and will be spending time in prison. Here in the U.S., laws already exist that make it illegal to report crimes that didn't actually happen. So not only is swatting dangerous for the victim, but it is illegal. If you swat someone and get caught, the chances of you going to prison are pretty high. Not only that, but it carries hefty fines, and in some states, it is a felony. A felony conviction can and will restrict where you can work and where you can live. Most apartment complexes won't accept people with felony convictions, and most businesses won't hire them either. It will follow you the rest of your life, and all because of one stupid decision. So the next time you feel like being a jerk online and swat somebody, you might want to think about the consequences because they're pretty severe. I'm including a link in the video description that lists the penalties per state for faking a crime or making a false police report. Hopefully this arrest and conviction in Germany will prevent more swatting in the future. Most online bullies are just doing it to get attention, and not giving them the satisfaction is the best way to deal with them. But some take things too far, and when they do, they need to learn there are serious consequences that can ruin their lives. If you are a streamer, there are a few simple things you can do to stay safe while live streaming. Never publish online the address you're streaming from. If you give out an address for fan mail, use a P.O. Box. If you have a website, don't register it with your home address. If you can, use a P.O. Box or an alternate address you aren't streaming from. Also, hang a sign in your front door that says, I am a live streamer. If you are the police, you are here because of a swatting. Ring the doorbell and I will let you in. Put it up when you are going live, and make sure it is in a place where it can be seen. These won't prevent swatting. But they may help in limiting the risks. Don't stop doing what you love because of a few bad apples. Stay safe and keep streaming. I've been Chloe, and I'll see you next time. Well, hello there. I was asked to pass on some info to you, our dear viewers. Chloe and the Professor is moving to Mondays. To make room for a new show that is in development. So stay tuned. Well, I'm no one's fool.